for watching my videos. Now today is Friday and we are going to go ahead and go inside CVS and see what coupon matchups you can pro um, possibly do if you are brand new to couponing. So this series is always designed for somebody who is brand new to couponing. They don't really have a lot of inserts to do a lot of the coupon matchups. Let's just say you're working with this week's inserts and printable coupons. Now if you are not new and you followed my um, come with me to CVS last week, so I do have in this Google document, there's always a Google document in the show notes. In there is always a, um, if you scroll down a little bit more, there's last week's inserts that you can do with this week's deals. So um, always remember that. You can always look at my yesterday's walkthrough. Um, come with me to CVS because on that one I go through all of the possible coupon matchups with all of the printable and coupon inserts that are available to us. But this week... This particular day on Fridays, I mainly focus on somebody who is brand new to couponing, who's never really couponed before, and is trying to really try to get this together to save their family some money. Now, um, I did read a comment on Sunday that somebody had a really horrible experience at CVS. Just know, guys, uh, don't get discouraged. Um, sometimes you get some coupon haters, and that's just the way uh, it's part of the coupon life. I know that when I first started, I had a horrible experience at CVS and I had a horrible experience at Target and it almost made me want to quit what I was doing. It really deviated me from my plan of saving my family money and what it basically boils down to is yes, you're going to run into coupon haters. That's just part of the game. But at the end of the day, they do not pay your bills. You pay your bills. You pay your mortgage. You pay your rent. You pay your utilities. You buy your own groceries. They're not part of your household. So I always look at it that way when I get a coupon hater and I'll go to a different store. If you have a lot of issues or you're out in a particular town where there's only one CVS, call customer service. Um, I would say CVS and Target have the best customer service, guys. And it's not that you're, comp well, you are complaining because, of course, you don't want to be treated like that. Who wants to be treated rudely? But CVS needs to know what kind of service you are getting at their store so they can talk to that particular store and say, hey, look, that's not cool. Don't do that to your customers. They are paying customers. You're a paying customer. This is the money that's coming out of your pocket. These are the coupons that you clip. This is the work that you put a lot of work and time and energy into. So um, definitely, and you don't want another couponer to go in there and experience the same exact thing you did. Always make sure to be courteous to them so they'll be courteous back to you. If you're not getting the same type of respect back, voice your opinion, let them know, tell them you don't appreciate that and that you will be calling corporate. Maybe that'll just snap something in their head and they'll be a little bit more nicer to not only you but the next person that is coming in as well. So I just wanted to say you guys, please don't get discouraged. Please don't think all the stores are like that because they are not. I It took me... Um, I would say like two to three stores before I found my store and you'll know what I'm talking about as you continue you'll find your store and you'll be able to go in there and everybody will know you and it'll be a wonderful experience I'm just it really bums me out when you guys have a horrible experience and I feel really bad but don't give up keep on trying keep on pushing so let's go ahead and go inside CVS and see what's on sale this Sunday and yeah let's See what's on sale, see what kind of coupon matchups we have, and what you can do with $20. Okay, so on transaction number one, you are going to pick up the Colgate Multi-Packs. Now, they're going to be, they're not going to be on sale, the regular price, but when you buy one, you're going to get a $2 extra care buck. Now, the cheapest multi-pack we have here at MyCBS is the Colgate, and they are $3.79. So, make sure to look at your multi-packs and find the cheapest one you can find. A multi-pack is a package of two or more. So, you're going to go ahead and buy one of those. You're going to pay $3.79, but you're going to get back $2.00 and extra care bucks which we are going to use on transaction number two now on transaction number two it includes various products so make sure to check the ad and check the google document to see what you can mix and match and what works best for you and your family now the a cover girl makeup is going to be buy one get one half off it is included in this spend 30 you're going to get a 10 dollar extra care buck so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and pick up Two of the cheaper mascaras. Now, the cheapest ones they have at my store are $6.49. They actually work really well. They are one of my favorite. I love the clear mascara for my brows to keep them in place. Um, but I do like the black mascara. So, buy two of those. You're going to go on coupons.com and you're going to print out two of these coupons. This is $4 off two CoverGirl products. So, go ahead and buy two of these. Use one of these coupons. 
and then you're also going to pick up two of the brow pencils now the brow pencils are four dollars and 79 cents they're going to be buy one get one half off and you're also going to use another one of these four dollar off one coupons and then you're also going to pick also up also includes the hefty trash bags now it includes the regular trash bags and then the um ultra strong trash bags these are going to be on sale for six dollars and 99 cents you're going to go ahead and purchase two of them you're going to use two of the one dollar off one coupons now these coupons are available on hefty.com definitely check out that google document there's a link to print these so print out two of these pick up two hefty trash bags after your coupons and rolling that two dollars in extra care bucks that you just got from transaction number one you're going to pay eighteen dollars and eighty seven cents guys but you're going to get back ten dollars in extra care bucks which we are going to use on transaction number three now transaction is number three is optional if you don't get the retail me not then you may not be able to do these deals but it is an option if you do get the retail me not so let's go ahead and take a look at transaction number three you're going to pick up one of the per sale laundry detergent now this is going to be on sale for four dollars and 94 cents we're supposed to be getting a two dollar off one coupon that is going to be available in our retail me not from seven seven eight i'm sorry i had to look at my i'm like what day is it today from your retail me not seven eight you're going to pick up one of these and then you're also going to pick I up i always tell you guys the first thing you do when you come into cbs is scan your red cart because that's where you get your red box coupons so the magic red machine usually prints out crts we call them cash register tapes or red box coupons this sunday we are supposed to be getting a two dollar off two coupon red box coupon for the l'oreal alvive the l'oreal alvive is going to be on sale two for eight dollars we're also supposed to be getting a four dollar off two coupon that is coming in our retail me not from seven eight so what you want to do is go ahead and pick up two of these you're going to use that one of the four dollar off two coupon and you're going to stack that CVS CRT that just came out of the red box with this deal. And then you're also going to pick Garnier up. Garnier Fruit Teas is going to be on sale two for $7. There's no extra care bucks back on these items, guys, but you're going to use that $10 in extra care bucks. So you're pretty much getting a lot of stuff for free. So let's continue. You're going to go ahead and pick up an additional two more of the Garnier um, shampoo and conditioner. Now this is going to be on sale two for $7. We are supposed to be getting in the red box a dollar off to CVS CRT, which is a CVS coupon that you can stack with the manufacturer coupon that is coming out this Sunday from our retail me not. We're supposed to get a $4 off two coupon. So go ahead and buy two. And when you're looking guys, make sure to see if there's any free items, like there's a free treat. So always adding an extra item with something you're going to purchase is always good. So make sure to check your CVS, see if they have any of those but go ahead and pick up two you're going to use that four dollar off two coupon and you're going to use that cvs crt that just printed from the red box with this deal as well and then you're also going to pick up a couple more things guys you're also going to pick fresh up. is going to be on sale for 2.99 we are supposed to get another instant coupon from the red box when you scan your card for a dollar fifty off one so you go ahead and purchase one. You're going to use one of the 50 cent off one coupons from your smart sort 78. You're going to stack that CVS CR Mitchum deodorant is going to be on sale for $2.99. In our retail me not from 78, we are supposed to get a $2 off one coupon. So go ahead and buy two. You're going to use two of the $2 off one coupons. And then guys, one more thing and then we'll be done with this transaction. I know it is kind of um long but definitely take a look at that google document because it goes step by step as well so pick up two of those you have all your other products so pick up two of these and then we're going to pick up one the more last thing. thing you're going to pick up is one caramel now these are at my store for 39 cents i believe so you're going to roll that ten dollars in extra care bucks from transaction number two you just got you're going to pay 30 cents and that is going to be it for our walkthrough now let's go ahead and take a look at some other deals that are available to you with this week's coupons always like to make sure to tell you guys about Huggies diapers that are on sale or any diaper deals in case you have little ones because diapers are one of the most expensive things along with formula that you're going to buy when you have a little one. 
So the Huggies diapers are going to be on sale two for $20. That includes the Good Nights and Little Swimmers. Additionally, we have coupons available for all three of those products. Now, when you buy two, you're going to get a $5 extra care buck. So what you want to do is go ahead and buy two diapers. Now we have coupons for the Huggies Snug, <laughs> Huggies Snug and Dry. So these coupons are available on coupons.com. So you just go on coupons.com, click on these, print them. Go ahead and purchase two of those. Use two of these coupons. You're going to pay $16, but get back the $5 in extra care bucks, making your final cost $11 or $5.50 each, which is a great price because you're getting like half off on them. But guys, remember, if you have any CRTs, which I've mentioned in the um, walkthrough, this is a CRT, cash register tape. This is what prints out of the red box. You are going to want to stack this $2 off 10 pamper diaper purchase with your coupons. So stacking means that you take this coupon these two coupons, you get two of these, use two of these coupons, and you stack this. So instead of getting $4 off, you're going to get $6 off, and that's going to lower your out-of-pocket. So if you have that CRT, you'll pay $14, get back the $5 in extra care bucks, making your final cost $9 or $4.50 each, which is a great deal on some diapers. I definitely wanted to mention that deal just in case you have little ones. These Scott paper towels are going to be on sale for $9.99. These are the mega rolls, and when you buy two, you're going to get a $2 extra care buck. Now, this isn't a great deal guys but if you are trying to stockpile and you need something to get you through to the next deal then you might want to consider picking this up so what you do is go ahead and buy two you're gonna use two of the one dollar off one coupons that are available on scottbrand.com so go on there click on the link it's in the Google document click and print two of those coupons now you're gonna pay $17.98, but you're gonna get back $2 in extra care bucks, making your final cost $15.98 or $7.99 each. It's not a bad deal, guys, but if you can wait, I would definitely wait. We often get paper towels a little bit lesser than that, like way lesser. So it really depends on what your needs are. I always say get what you and your family need to get you through to the next deal. Okay, let's look at another deal that I wanted to show you guys. The Garnier, um, <laughs> Garnier face products are going to be buy two get a five dollar extra care buck same as it is this Sunday So what you want to do is go ahead and buy two you can two two of the face wipe it excludes the um, Masala makeup removing wipes. So you want to get the regular ones either the charcoal or the green ones These are at my store for six dollars and seventy nine cents. So you'll buy two you're gonna use two of the Two dollar off one coupon that is coming in our retail me not from seven eight You'll pay $9.58, but get back the $5 in extra care bucks, making your final cost only $4.58 or $2.29 each. The Hershey Snack Bites are going to be on sale for $1.88, and when you buy one, you're going to get a dollar back in extra care bucks. Now, I really enjoy these, so if you guys like them or you just want a little snack, go ahead and buy one. You'll pay $1.88, but you're going to get back a dollar back in extra care bucks, making your final cost only $0.88. Cents. Now, there's no extra care bucks on back. A lot of the deals I showed you, we're not getting a lot of extra care bucks back, but it's still stock up price if you were wondering. So the Renews It Air Freshener Cones are gonna be on sale for 89 cents, which is a good price because you, can, you can't get them, the lowest I've seen them was 99 cents. And you can get them at the 99 cent store, of course, or Dollar Tree. But if you can get them cheaper than that, you might as well go ahead and pick them up because if you do use them, you're gonna use them. So they're on sale for 89 cents. What you wanna do is go ahead and buy four, guys. You're gonna use one of the buy three, get one free coupon that is coming in our Retail Me Not from 7-8. The maximum value on that is $1.10, so your CVS should take off $1.10. Hopefully they will. If they take off the max value, your final cost is $2.46 or 61 cents each, which is an excellent deal on some air fresheners. So let's move on to the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and then we'll go into my now conclusion. Another way to save money and to save your household money is definitely keep an eye out for clearance. Um, a lot of stuff that isn't purchased a lot at CVS usually goes on clearance. So you definitely want to check that out, and you can stack coupons with your clearance items. So for like example, this sweep and trap that we're retails for $31.49 is 75% off guys so that's $7.87 if you have a last week's insert I believe we have a $2 off one coupon that's gonna make this $5.87 so definitely just look around um, unfortunately the tags look the same as the sale tags but you'll see that little clearance sign and you can see what's on sale and what's on clearance that you can stock up for this would make um, really something really great to have in your household and then I wanted to show you guys another deal 
home as well even the total home which actually works on the swifter as well is on sale for 75 percent off for a dollar 64. now a lot of my shelves are wiped but there's always a good chance of looking around and being able to find some really great clearance items that you normally would not buy but you use in your household you sign a stock up if it's super cheap let me show you guys another like example for example these um b berry awake energizing pill masks are 75 percent off they're a dollar 74 also the nug face masks are a dollar seven so you get a couple of these face masks get one of those b berry get one of those lip balms you're spending about maybe six dollars that's a really nice gift to some to give to somebody a co-worker um even to give like to your daughter to give to like her friends at school for their birthday so you always think ahead if you can afford it go ahead and pick up some of these clearance items stock them up and then when somebody has like a birthday that you forgot about you can instantly make a gift so that's everything I wanted to go through guys so let's go ahead and go into my conclusions so guys you got quite a bit of stuff you got 16 items you actually spent out of your own pocket $22.96 now I know I went over you can definitely look at the Google Doc take some stuff out if you want to spend less um, look at the Google Doc decide if you're gonna really do this deal make sure you pick what works best for you and your family I try to add a variety of items so you don't really have to you're like okay I'm set with shampoo and conditioner I'm set with deodorant I'm set with laundry soap for a little bit I got some toothpaste and some toothbrushes I got some trash bags and I got some makeup I'm set um, I can either forego going next week unless the deals are really, really good, or I can just, you know, stock this and then continue on my journey. So it's completely up to you. That's why I always attach a Google document. So you can just definitely take a look, say, mm, I don't really like that deal. I'm not going to do that. Just um, mix and match. Pick whatever works best for you and your family. Don't just get items because it's really inexpensive because you'll end up um, spending more money in the long run. You'll get burnt out. Don't go up after deal after deal after deal. Yes, it's fun at first, but then it becomes a time-consuming process. It kind of consumes you. You end up buying a bunch of stuff you don't need, and then you're just burnt out and you don't want to do it anymore. So definitely take your time when you're doing your deals. Definitely make a list and definitely do that coupon budget. That is the number one thing I tell you guys is definitely do a coupon budget definitely take your time and definitely purchase what your family needs so what you got you got 16 items you got two l'oreal shampoo and conditioners two garnier shampoo and conditioners two mitchum deodorant deodorants one caramel because you are under that ten dollar um extra care buck and some cvs will push it back if you don't go a little bit over ten dollars or spend exactly ten dollars they used to be you can do nine dollars and 99 cents and they would still take the ten dollars and extra care bucks and you would just wash out but now um i can't do it at my cvs so i kind of like just make sure that you guys add that little you know 20 30 cent items so you can make sure you are using utilizing your whole entire ten dollars and extra care bucks and it doesn't spit it back um one bottle of persil detergent which is actually vastly turned into one of my favorite detergents um a tube of colgate toothpaste one pack of multi toothbrushes two hefty trash bags and hefty trash bags guys trash bags are something that is rarely goes on sale and is a little bit more difficult to get with coupons um sometimes we get really great deals and sometimes you don't when it comes up it is definitely sock up time um two covergirl mascaras and two covergirl brow pencils you spent $22.96 but keep in mind um make sure to sign up for beauty all those items that you purchase the makeup um the shampoo and conditioner it all counts towards the um, beauty you spend thirty dollars you get a three dollar beauty buck rewards and that'll come on your card when you scan your red card the next time you come back it'll be on your card so it's like you have three dollars already in your pocket so in total you guys spent nineteen ninety six or a dollar twenty four an item which is really really great deals for you guys especially if you're brand brand new so that is everything I wanted to go over with you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Also, remember um, to hit that bell notification. That's going to notify you whenever I upload new videos so you don't have to come back and forth and see, oh, did she upload a new video? I usually do every day, but when you have that bell, you don't have to worry about it. It's already popped up on your phone or it's on your computer like, hey, she has a new video up. So I definitely would hit that bell. And also, don't forget, today's the last day to enter my giveaway. I am having 
doing an 8,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. That is going on now. The winner is going to be announced tomorrow, so don't forget to enter to win. And yeah, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Next week, we're going to do a coupon kit giveaway, so make sure to check back for that because I'm super excited. I listen to all of your suggestions, all of your comments. I read them all, and I think this kit is going to be amazing. So definitely check that out later on next week. So you guys have a fabulous, blessed Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Bye!